Welcome to the zombie book tag. This is a tag that has been going around the booktube community for a while now. I have no idea who originally created this tag and you would think I would have looked that up first and I did try, I just I can't find it. I discovered this tag through Mary Dover and while no, I wasn't tagged to do this, I just, I really want to do it and I've wanted to do it for a while now. Basically, I had this weird dream last night about zombies and I was being attacked by zombies and the only way to defend myself was to throw books at them. Thus making me want to make this. The rules of this tag are you pick five books and there are ten questions to per book. You will pick a book out of a jar or whatever system you have that you want to go through. Mine is going through this little jar here. You open up the book, flip to a random page, and the first name you see answers the question. So let's find out what happens in the zombie apocalypse. My first book is Fangirl. I'm not sure how well you guys can see that. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. And the first question is, who is the first person to die in the zombie apocalypse? Ren. So the first name I saw was Ren, and she is the first person to die in the zombie apocalypse, and I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. Cass will be really sad, but I'm okay with it. Question two. Who is the person you trip to get away from the zombies? In all honesty, I would trip them all. Nick. I trip Nick to get away from the zombies. He was the guy I was rooting for to end up with Cass in the beginning, and he just, he turned out to be a total tool, so, okay, I trip him, and I'm pleasantly pleased with that. The next book is Shadow and Bone by Leah Bardigo. The first person to become a zombie is Mal. <laughs> Mal's the first person to become a zombie. All right. So, to an extent, I don't really like Mal, but I haven't read the next book to know if I, you know, really dislike him as a character. He just, he seems very boring, so I'm not really too upset he turned into a zombie. I'm not. I'm a horrible person. The next question is, who trips you to get away from the zombies? It can't be Mal again. He's already a zombie. Um, names, 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 names. Why is Mal everywhere? Okay. Names. Names. The Darkling. The Darkling trips me to get away from the zombies, which is kind of odd considering he could probably destroy the zombies. To an extent, it, it is something he would do. I, I wouldn't put it past him to trip me. Book three. A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. So who is the idiot of the team? Pippa. Pippa's the idiot. I can see that. I can see Pippa being an idiot. Well, she is an idiot. And to go with that question, who is the brains of the team? That's kind of an ironic question considering zombies eat brains. But yeah. I'm on the same page. Oh, I cannot be Pippa again because she's the idiot. Felicity. Felicity is the brains of the team. I feel like we're all going to die. Like she's just, she'll sacrifice us all to save herself. Shit. Book four. Huh. Prodigy by Marie Lou. Who is our team medic? I'm kind of excited for this question because we have some medics in this book. Uh, I doubt we'll get the medics, but um, she is not a person. Man is not a person. Why are there no names? There's no names. June. June. Okay, June is our medic. We're all gonna die. If any of us get injured, we're dead. So who is our weapons expert? Okay, still, a really good book for this. Please, let it be someone good. Let it be like, Day or something. Um, the Elector. 
The other actor is our... What's his real name? Aiden? Aiden? Is that his real name? I want to say yes, but... Oh, the elector. Yeah, Andin. Andin is our it's our weapons expert. I'm disappointed with these answers. We had some really promising characters that could have been the medic and the weapons expert, and I got landed with June and the elector. And the last and final book is Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clay. Who is our team fighter? Again, really great book for this. Let it be someone good, because I swear to God, if it's Tess, I'm, I'm going to be so mad. Tess! Are you are you kidding me? She's our brawler. She's our fighter. I yeah, There's Will. There's Jem. There's, there's what's his face? Gabriel and, and his brother. And I get Shadow Hunters, and I get landed with Tess. The last and final question. Who is our team captain? And please. Don't fail me, book. Don't fail me, Clockwork Prince. Give me Henry. I want Henry to be my captain. Will. Will's our team captain. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. I'm okay with him being my captain because he's, he's a good fighter. He knows what's going on. He's very alert and knows strategies, so... But he's not Henry. So let's go over the team. Team Captain, William Herondel. We're okay on that front. Our fighter is Tess. May God have mercy on our souls with that. Our weapons expert is Andon, the Elector, and he knows nothing about weapons. And our team medic, of all people, is June. Needless to say, don't get injured. The brains of our team is Felicity, and we're all gonna die because she will sacrifice us for herself. And it only seems fitting that Pippa is the idiot of the team. The Darkling trips me to get away from the zombies, and yes, we can all see that, because he is that type of person. And Mal is the first person to become a zombie. I trip Nick to get away from the zombies, and Ren is the first person to die. Altogether, it's not that horrible of a team. I it could have been a hell of a lot worse. I could have had, you know, Ren as the weapons expert and horrible things like that. So, yeah, it's not too bad. That is the end of the zombie book tag. If you guys want to do your own version of it, go ahead. I will post the rules and the questions below for you guys. Also, Mary Dover's link is below, and if I ever find out who originally created this tag, I will post their link also. If you guys happen to make a video, let me know. I want to see it. And until then, you guys, happy reading.